Hello and welcome back to the New Wave Hockey YouTube channel. I'm your host, Link Dansevich, and today, let's talk about shooting. I've got my Steven Samkos jersey on. I mean, he's my favorite shooter of all time. I mean, the Flyers haven't really had a great shooter on the team since... I don't know when. I can't really remember. But, Owen Tippett looks good. Keep shaping up. Today, I'm here to talk about the 2024 draft and the best shooters in this draft. I wanted to start a series right now of just superlatives in this draft because there's a lot of special players in this draft and I want people to know what their strengths are because that's important and you want to know what your team is picking and you kind of already know what your team needs going into this offseason and going into the draft. Now, you can kind of see which players fit that mold the best and I'm going to give it to you, including shooting, which is the title of this video. The other superlatives that I want to get out of the way are passing, IQ, skating, stick handling, compete, and defense. I wanted to get these superlative videos done just kind of to give people an idea of what these players are good at going into this draft because having high draft awareness is a good thing for all these NHL fans that are looking towards the draft as please give us better players now please like me I'm a Flyers fan and 12 seems like a good place to get those type of players. So let me classify really quick what I mean by shooting. So shooting is a little bit different than scoring ability. I, I believe crashing the net and hunting for a puck and being relentless is an aspect of compete or an aspect of IQ. Purely shooting is kind of an art form and I think these five players exhibit the best shots. That includes a slap shot, a snap shot, wrist shot, even backhand shot. I graded all of these players based on those attributes. And of course, I have a long list of honorable mentions that just barely didn't make the cut. So don't be mad if your favorite player is not in the top five. They may have a great scoring ability. And I, of course, will touch on that when I talk about them in the May rankings or the June rankings or in their subsequent mock draft video. But for right now, I'm strictly focusing on who has the best shot in this draft. Now, without further ado, here are the honorable mentions list. In no particular order, here they go. Michael Hage of the Chicago Steel, Trevor Connolly from the Tri-City Storm, Caden Lindstrom from the Medicine Hat Tigers. He's had a great year. He's going to be on a lot of these lists. Maxime Massé from Chukudemi. Tarek Parasak from Prince George. Emil Hemming from TPS. Sasha Boisvert from Muskegon. Carter Yakumchuk, a defenseman on this list. Another defenseman, Cole Hudson from the USN TDP, brother of Lane. Alex Zetterberg. And Igor Chernyshov from Dynamo Moscow. Now, those are the guys that just didn't make my list. Let's now waste no more time and get into the top five. And starting off with my fifth ranked shooter, I have Liam Greentree from Windsor in the OHL. He was on my overrated list that I did a couple videos ago, but you can't take away the fact that he's still a tremendous shooter. I really like the way that he just rip it from anywhere and he's just got such a powerful shot i have a couple of clips for every single prospect but uh, let me show you some of the ones for liam real quick to just prove my point here's a clip from the u18s pow oh my goodness short side let's look at that again that was so fast oh my goodness passes it off to gill and then he just gets it right back oh my goodness short side can't even find it this next one's versus peterborough just shakes off a defender oh my goodness look at that quick snapshot right there there's a slow motion oh yeah can't even see it here's one versus mississauga he curls in goes right in through oh bar down ski let's slow that down real quick that is a beautiful here he comes just gliding across goes through one defender puts it top shelf here's a sneaky one i wanted to include dangles around him puts it backhand he's got a good backhand here so you can watch Look at that dangle. He's got a good stick, too. Look at that. Oh, nifty hands there from Green Tree. And my number four ranked shooter from the WHL, Kelowna Rockets, Tej Aginla. Now, he had a monster season in the WHL. 47 goals in 64 games. And also, not to mention, 15 goals in 18 playoff and U18 games. Tej Aginla is a monster. He looks like he's going to be a star at the next level. I have him really high in my next rankings. Now, let's just take a look at some of his clips. Here's one for the U18s that just happened. Oh, quick snapshot right over his shoulder. Let's see if we can get a better view here. Right to him. Schaefer passes it. You don't even see it. This one in the WHL playoffs, he just gets it. Oh, puts it right in there. Buried it. Oh, my goodness. Quick one right there. Slow it down for you if we can. Tej Ginla passes it off. Puts it through a really short angle there. 
Another playoff one. Here it comes. Oh, against the Watachi Wild. He just hammers that home. Have mercy, Tej. My goodness. Here's a really good example of his just multifacetedness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Dragon shoot. Let's just, let's just slow that one down. Look at that one. Tej Ginla. Dragon shoot. How she does it. Oh, my goodness. Here's a bit of a bullshit goal, but it just kind of drives home my point that everything just goes in with this guy. <laughs> I mean, how does that even go in? That was just, that was ridiculous. A crazy bounce on that one. Teach, he's a wizard. Now moving on to my third ranked shooter. Now he didn't put up a ton of goals because he was in a really, really tough league this year. That is Michael Bronsig Nygaard. He is a fantastic winger from the Elsvenskan, and he's the best Norwegian prospect ever. He had a really good year this season, but he took it up a notch when he reached the playoffs. 13 goals in 23 playoff and tournament games since the beginning of 2024. He exploded in the Elsvenskan playoffs, and he is just going to be a great goal scorer at the next level. Let's take a look at some of his clips. Here's one from the World Juniors. Pops it through. He's on a breakaway, and oh my goodness. Let's take a closer look at that one. Oh my. Gets a great start at it. Oh goodness. Puts it right over him. Oh, my Lord. Jeez. And just look at the follow-through there. Let's get one last look at this bottle pop. Oh, my goodness. He's insane. Here's the second one from that game. Picks up a loose puck and, wow, just rips that one. He's got a great wrister, folks. Let's look at it slowed down. Gets the pass and just smokes it by Guyane. Oh my goodness. And this is not an amateur goalie. Puts it right over top of him. Doesn't even see it. Here's him at the world champs and oh my goodness. So fast. Don't let him get any space because he'll make you pay. Now here's what I was talking about. This is one of his goals from the Mora IK playoffs. Oh, what a clapper there. Now he'll just get open here on the side and comes to him boom here's a goal from the same game this is the game winning goal takes the face off puts it up oh my goodness the change up he was not ready let's look at that in slow motion not a beautiful shot but he just gets it by him look at that now my number two ranked shooter in the entire draft is the number one ranked prospect macklin celebrini He's got a really impressive shot, and what I think is more impressive about his shot is that it has developed and gotten better as the season has gone along. 32 goals in 38 games is impressive for anybody, but then you remember that he had 46 goals in 50 games in the USHL last season. He really is just a special, special prospect, and I'm, I'm really happy that he just has matured over the season because his shot, it didn't look as strong at the beginning of the year playing against men, but now, oh my goodness, what a ripper he has. Let's take a look at some of his highlights. The bean pot gets it from Lane Hudson. Wow, what a shot right there. Here's one against BC from the Hockey East Championship. What a quick wrister right there. Unfair. Crazy. Here's a slower motion of this one. Wow. I mean, just puts it by him. Fowler doesn't even know where to, where to look. Here we go. Even slower. Just how quick he gets it off his stick. Unreal. Here's Celebrini in the bean pot. Another really quick wrister right there. Great shot. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a look at the overhead angle. Slow motion. What a great shot. And then his teammates mob him. Now, this one's my favorite goal. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. And the backhand. Look at it. He just makes him look silly on this one. And now my number one ranked shooter in the entire draft. I mean, it's not even really a question anymore or even a thought. Cole Iserman has one of the greatest shooting abilities that I've ever seen in a prospect. It's essentially game over when he's in his offense. Let's just look at just some of his stats because this is just otherworldly to look at someone in their draft year. 83 goals in 81 games. He also has 127 career goals with the USN TDP. He broke Cole Caulfield's previous record of 126. Let's just take a look at some of his shots. This one, the U18s versus Slovakia. He's open in his office. Can't leave him there. Oh my goodness. Hagen's just sees him. Gets a nice view of him. Great shot. Another versus Norway. Clap bomb, doesn't make it, gets the pass back. What's he going to do here? He's going to cut towards the net. He has an open shot. 
There it is. Oh my goodness. Let's take a slower look at that one. He's just always hunting for the goal. He knows where it is and he just gets it. Here's another one here. Ooh, gets the pass and just wrists it up. Let's get a slower look at that. Oh my goodness. Gets the pass on a broken play. Just, oh, puts it five hole. Here he comes again. Oh, through traffic, just puts it up. You, you can't beat him. Oh my goodness. Can't try to stop this guy. He's just unreal. Lethal here. Here he goes, trying to cut through. That skating ability too. Puts it. Right by him. Glove side. Here's an oldie but a goodie from the Five Nations. Here he goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's just get another look at that. Plot puts it through and just look at the angle here. Oh, another Glover right there. Love to see it. So that'll do it for my list today. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video because I really had a great time making it. I really think these superlative videos are just a good reflection of how we should be watching this draft, how teams should go into this draft, what do they need really badly on their team. You can kind of look at these videos and see what your team needs in terms of traits and look at these players and say, oh, these are the best players in the draft. Of course, I want to go and take this guy. So I hope this video was helpful to all of you watching out there. I want to thank not only uh, Insat and my friends who provide me with Instat clips so I can even create videos like this, but also the many, many, many YouTube channels that I watch that give me shift by shift videos of these prospects, links to which I will give down below. I want to give those channels a shout out because they have provided me with a lot of tape and I really, really have to thank them because again, I wouldn't be able to make a video like this without them. So thanks again for tuning in to watch. I hope you really got a great enjoyment out of this. If you didn't see your favorite shooter on this list, leave a comment down below. And if your team wants to take one of these shooters, let me know. I want to know what shooter your team is most interested in come draft day so thank you so much for watching i've been your host linkedin savage signing out